Okay. Going to uh, see if I can reverse a small program, small program in uh, C++. Well, what I'd like to do is just start off with a very simple program, so like for this video, as, as we have here, and then uh, progress with a um, progressively hot, uh, more complex program for each consecutive video after this. Hang on, is this recording? Testing, testing, oh, that looks good. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use IDA Pro to uh, load up the executable and then connect to the process, this running program, uh, this program, which is that, and uh, see if we can figure out what's what, see if we can actually identify these parts within the assembled code, within the uh, assembly language. So in this program, all it does, it's just, just a counter that... Uh, Goes it's set there and goes through a loop, increments the counter output, outputting the uh, result each time. So here it starts off at zero, and goes one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So now let's see, load up IDA, uh, go 32 bit. And there's the executable file. Reverse me level zero one. Um, I'm a bit of a noob on all this. I'm not too sure exactly 100% what's going on. <laughs> uh, some kind of data file. I over overwrite that. Portable executable. The file is a portable executable, so we're okay with that. And uh, locate. Where's that PB file? Yeah, locate whatever. Okay, so this is the executable itself, the file itself. It's not connected to the uh, running process yet. And um, I think, yeah, it's what it's brought up here. This is just the flow. Uh, it's a graph view of the program code. So this, that is one section. And this big box down here is another section. Where is it? think yeah that's the loop jump to that jump to there yeah that's the loop so it's outputting the counter value and jumping oh no sorry you already figured out that's jumping <laughs> it's outputting the counter value so it counts is at and incrementing. Presumably that's ESI, presumably that holds the counter value. So this start here push oops, didn't want to do that. No, I don't know enough to be able to find my way back. What happens if I go all the way up here? Scroll all the way to the top. Oh, we are back. There you go. Main. Main. <laughs> oh, that's taking me into um, text view, I think it is. Right click. Oh, yeah. Right. It's okay. Right click that. We go into graph view, which is where we were just now earlier and right click again text view yeah that okay text view actually I think I prefer text view to tell you the truth so that is that yep ink ESI jump yeah that's the loop again so if we look in the source code the while while loop there that is this that's the while loop. Yeah, ink ESI. Actually, see if what's the value? Its initial value is zero. 
ESI, XOR ESI AI. I think push Okay, that's putting the value of what's in ESI onto the stack. So it can be used again later, whatever was on the ESI. Stored on the stack for, s for safekeeping. Because it looks like it's it, ESI is then used for the uh, um, the counter value, so it's stored on the stack to keep it safe. So EDI, whatever that is. All oh, right. Okay. So that get char, that's a function. That's uh, waiting for input. So, um, well, not you. Go to the executable. So it's waiting for input, for eight, waiting for me to hit enter. So then it increments. So that's what that get char does. So that function, the location of that function is, in, is stored into EDI. Okay. Oh yeah, down here within the loop, call EDI. EDI has the location of the um, get char function, so it calls that and then comes back, increments ESI, which should, which is the counter. So increments that uh, each time, outputs it, waits waits for a ball, ball of dash. <laughs> cool, cool, okay, excellent. Waits for input, uh, increments ESI, and then does the loop again. Now I assume that XOR ESI ESI results in ESI being set to zero. Makes sense. This looks a bit, like, bit of a mess for me to fully understand, but it's obviously it's got uh, EDX is holding that text value. Count is at, and that's output somewhere here. Then it holds space, and then that's output. Somewhere here, the ESI too. Can't see it. Hmm. Set there. Store that text. Must be these. Are those calls? Probably out. STD. Right. Yeah. So that's probably outputting that text. That's probably outputting that text. See where it actually outputs the ESI. Because I don't really know what I'm looking for, but hey. the uh, get char function increments ESI can't see how that does it can't see where it actually outputs the value within ESI oh well I might have to look at that again in another video let's watch what we're doing now 
because this is the executable. That's the executable file itself. Let's connect to the process, the actual running process. So debugger, select debugger. It's a rude word. <laughs> Let's debugger it. <laughs> um, local Windows debugger. OK. Debugger again. <laughs> Attach to process. Okay, this is fun. Let's try and find the process. The process, the program's called reverse mean level zero one. I can just search for it, of course. Da -da -da -da. Well, there it is. That's lucky. Double click that. So now. Oops, internal error. No, you can't you cannot say internal error. That's not allowed. God damn. Poop. Useless. Right. Let's go again. Let's run it. Ida. Where is it? What did I use? Does it matter? Let's Go 32 bit again. Portable executable open. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yes, done everything. Oops. Right. Executable. Right. Select debugger. No, no, it's like it is local Windows debugger. Then attach to process. That was the first time the damn thing crashed on me. What the? Maybe it's not 32 bit. Let's go 64 bit. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. No, that's right. Overwrite. Overwrite. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay. Shall I pop up to finish this? It's lunch time. Right. Maybe I'll rebuild. Yeah, let's zap all this. Why? It's because it's something's go away. No try again. I hate you, stupid computer. Oh, this could be because of oh, stupid me. <laughs> it's because I've got it open in there. Dumb. Dumb cracker. Okay, let's do this again. So that's all that. Build. Run. The pro. Sure, I used six, 64 bit and 32 bit for, before. Increment, increment. Okay. Select a debugger. Local window. Attach to process. Find reverse me. Okay. Ooh, it worked. Nice. Right, 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 right. Let's find the main. I think we just need to go all the way to the top. Oh, it looks like it always goes to the main function. He says, is it the main, main function? Mm, looks like I spoke too soon. Right, 
still missing. Oops. Run. Yeah, this needed needed for me to hit uh, run on the uh, on Ida here. Little uh, run button. For then the program to continue working. The reverse me. Where on earth? Yeah, I don't like this layout. Let's go window. No desktop. My own layout. I've done this a few times before. <laughs> Just to, and it always brought up main. Damn gremlins. Stupid gremlins. If we can uh, search for that text, Searching, searching, do 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 do. Why is no work? Can I exit this? Go back in again? Taking too long. That's to you. Go away. Kill process. <laughs> Getting wound up. Let's try this again. Run the executable. Run the pro. Now I want to connect to the process itself and change uh, change something. Okay, so this has got right. That's the main. Now connect to the process. Local window, local de window de debugger. Attached to process. Did I actually attach to the? I bet I didn't attach the correct process. That's that's probably why it didn't work. <laughs> Dumbo. Right, let's search. I know mean, it's got reverse me there, but I'm not trusting it at the moment. Just saying. That is it. What is that? Let's try again. Let's go up here. Let's search. Search string not found. I keyed in incorrectly. That's interesting. Is it not seeing it? Right, there you go. That looks more like it. I mean, this bit isn't it, but I sort of recognise this from when I sort of tested it out. Damn. 
spoke too soon. View, view, open sub views, name strings. Damn, pansy, useless balls. Right, strings. Where are the strings? No strings window opened up. What the hell? Piece of crap. <laughs> Functions. We must have the main here. Main. What do you mean? Yes. Yes, you get. <laughs> okay, functions. Go through view. Open sub views. Functions. Gives you this list here. And then just find main and double click and it's there. There, there, there. Okay. This video is turning longer than I wanted it to be. Damn in blast. Damn in blast. <laughs> okay, let's go text, 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 text view, text view. Here we go. All right, so I'm sure that's resetting. I don't, so this is now connected to the process itself. This is not the executable, the stored executable. Right, I'm going to see if I can actually, uh, can, choose that. And it's got ink, oh, actually, no, I was going to see if I could change this to, to, to change the value, but I could do a move, sort of like 100 into the year, so I could try that, maybe in the next video, kind of. So all I want to do right now is possibly change because it's got ink. So that's where it, that's where it increases. I'm 100% certain that's where it increases the counter value. So that'll just increase by one each time, which is what is happening here. Oh, we've got to hit. Always got to hit the uh, start pro start to the get it to run. So then it will allow. To continue to running to run. Great. So to change this, as I found out earlier, you have to do assemble. Assemble, assemble, assemble. Edit. Where was it? Damn memory. Swiss cheese memory. Patch program. Oh yeah, patch program. And then assemble. Seems a bit odd. We would have thought it would be edit, and then, then after, later you would assemble it. Anyway, instruction is ink ESI. Now, 
we deck it? Need to check in a minute. Actually, make sure it can actually output a negative. I think it can. Ink. Uh, int. Int. Yeah, it can. You, no, I'm signed. Signed. No, it's okay. Int is okay. Deck. So we change that to a deck. And go. Okay. And it's changed it there. Deck. Okay. Go away. Why are you asking that? I don't want to do any more. Deck. Deck ESI. So that's now deck ESI. Question is, does this? I think this works. So it should go. Right, it's currently six, so it should go five. Yes, five. Four, three, one, two, one. Oh. Minus. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. Yes. Okay. If I identified this very simple program, identified um, where what is happening within the assembly language. That is good. That is good. I think uh, stop this here and uh, continue with a more advanced program in the next video. Probably add uh, different types, maybe class two. Anyway, I think that's enough. I am hungry and thirsty and I had enough of this. <laughs> Till the next one, dudes.